Hi Bruce from Safari here and we're in front of an LC79 and a fifth wheeler and we're going to meet uh, Stuart Braid here. Stuart, how are you today? Good, thanks Bruce, good. And Stuart's a former Barra fishing guide. That's right. And you loved it? I loved it, up in the Northern Territory, you've got to love it. Daly River? Northern Australia, yep, Daly River. Yep. Alrighty, and now tell us now, what's the fifth wheeler like to run off-road with the 79? Look, really good. Um, I, I don't do off-road, off-road, but I certainly take it on dirt. And I, I don't believe there's any real off-road caravans anyway. I think, yes, the um, as long as you, you drive to conditions anywhere, any caravan can go off-road. So, but yes, um, and with the 79, it pulls this thing absolutely wonderfully. Um, it gives us 29 foot of good caravan space to live in. If um, and compare it to a caravan, if we are, if you're hooked up to a 21 foot caravan, you're actually a metre and a half longer than me overall. Unbelievable. So, yeah. so I, I've, I can go where any small caravan can go in most caravan parks, and uh, but it just gives us the extra comfort, the extra room, but it's really. And yeah, why, you, now you put we put a lot of power into this uh, over the last few days. Yeah. And why, why have we done that? Well, uh, you can never have too much power. <laughs> <laughs> never have too much power. Look, most of the time we are up north. That, that's where we spend our time. And um, I'm a softy. I love my air conditioning. Love it. Uh, th this is now going to allow me to go to more places where I wasn't able to go before. Um, and I can stay out, stay out at places where I can still run my air conditioner. I'm going to have to manage the power. I know that. But the majority of the time I'll be able to have that and it'll be allow me to go to a lot more remote places and uh, be very comfortable. And very comfortable with everything running. And keep the freezer running for a few more fish? A bit more word, mate. The freezer's still <laughs> going. And, yeah, I love it. Wonderful. So we're just going to go down here. So what we've added the solar up there and uh, let's just have a look and see what we're yielding up there at the moment. Uh, look at that, eh? 1635 watts uh, coming from four 400 watt panels. And, uh, you know, we're still not out of October yet. Uh, this power is just pumping in here. Morning. And let's just have a look at the install here. And we say this is tight. <laughs> just have a look at that. That's 800 amp hours at 12 volt equivalent there. And we've got the multi RS here on uh, this side. And then we've got the 4812 there. So that's just running straight down to his 12 volt channel. And then we've got a killer wasp in the LC79 that's towing this, or that's, that's pulling this, and it's uh, charging in here at a thousand watts. But our strategy here was to really maximize the solar. We're just going to have a look to see what uh, the maximum power we got out of the solar today. You can see it's 351 now, and if you've seen me do this before, I like it because uh, Victron doesn't lie. Thank you, Victron. I go into the daily history and uh, look how about that, folks. 1926 watts just short of 2000 watts off four 400 watt panels so we're getting 1926 off 1600 and uh we're coming off the roof 296 now most people will wonder uh immediate ask the question how on earth did you do that well we do a much higher voltage for a start we use the absolute best of the best on the glass panels and uh, basically that's how we get such a high performance and of course we use Victron Energy for the smart solar controller, ultra fast every second, and it just squeezes everything out our end. And I've got to say, how good's that?